That's pretty sick. So think about it this way. Like it, let's just for round numbers, say $12,000 yeah. a year, you can, you could pay your kid a thousand dollars a month, deduct that and then pay for a thousand dollar a month premium for their whole life policy. You're paying for it with tax deductible dollars, right? It's going to grow tax deferred and you can get tax free access and you're going to have a tax free death benefit. All right. The question is, what kind of life insurance would you get for your family in 2023? What type of life insurance is better for kids? Cash value plan or term type? Thanks for the question now. Let's go for this, man. Let's do All it. Right. Got Chris Kirkpatrick, Life 180. What's up, guys? Self-proclaimed nerd. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I call one of my buddies a nerd and he gets offended. I'm like, it's a compliment, no, it's man. Totally. It's a compliment. Nerds run the world, guys. Yeah. Nerds run the world. Good. So um, what's the best kind of insurance to get? I think I think uh, from a high level, just starting the conversation, um, it's it's about cash flow more importantly than anything, right? And making sure that based on what your cash flow is, making sure that your insurance is 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 doing the first job first, which is protecting your human life value and 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 making sure your human econo uh, economic value for your family is is insured and and I like having my of. kids to have insurance because I don't know what's going to happen to their for health sure. in the future. So 30 days after they're born is typically when you can get the insurance. Yeah. I go with cash value plans on my kids. Well, you have to. I mean, like you can't you just. Said there's one company that gives you a term writer, right? Yeah. I mean, you cannot just buy a term policy for a juvenile. Anybody under 18, you have to go permanent insurance. You've got to go whole life or IUL, but please just don't do that to yourself. Just go with whole life. Um, and we've got a lot of other videos that will explain why we're not going to go there in this one. But like. I would, I would say, um, you know, for, for the parents, you know, figure out the cash flow for the kids. I would say the greatest gift you can ever give your kids is a whole life policy starting in day one, you know, and because you don't know in this world of, of the health and disease and chronic problems that we're all having in our diets and like, eh, we don't know what it's going to look like. So to be able to lock in that insurability on a guaranteed basis, you can add in guaranteed insurability riders. So when they turn 25 and 35, they get to add more insurance. So like maybe maybe they hit 20 and they have diabetes or they have some other health concerns and they're not even insurable. So when they go to get married and have kids themselves, may, what, if, what if they can't get insurance? So for you to be able to do that for them is amazing. And then all the while you're building up a, a store of capital for them that you can hand, you control as the parent, right? Because you own the policy you can hand it to them at any point in time. And so what a gift, right? You know? So this is what I do. I mean, when my kids were 30 days old, we got policies on them. Mm -hmm. After a while, I didn't really know how to pay them when they were really young. I mean, I guess you could pay them to do modeling and stuff like that. Sure. But you could pay your kids around $12,200 a year up to that amount. It's 13850 oh, it's, it's It just went up. I'm I just heard. I just heard. Now. I just thanks heard for, this for, weekend. Yeah. There you go. Inflation. Yeah, inflation. Exactly. Yeah, so 13880 exactly. Yep. Um, or under. And so I haven't actually increased the amount I'm paying my kids, but my kids are doing a lot now. Like my 18 year old is traveling with me. He's mm -hmm. handing out books the whole time at, at the editing booth. videos. He's you editing. Know. Yeah. He's doing all sorts of work for me. Yeah. My 15 year old opened for me when I did my comedy special. He's helped me rehearse that, helped me rehearse my theatrical keynote. Like they've done a lot it. of work that is, you know, he's introduced me at events. It's awesome. So I thought of all these different ways um, and so when I pay them, a lot of that goes into their life insurance policy, which actually means it's tax deductible to me. Well, it's tax free that, to them and then pay for the policy because you're not really taking the money and just paying the policy with your money. You're paying them and they're technically yep. paying for the it policy. goes into their bank account. Right. And, they and then the premiums automatically come out of their bank. Right. So in, in essence, it's one of these really rare times it's, that very easily you could take after, you know, basically pre-tax dollars and still have tax advantages that right. don't require tax on the back end. That's pretty sick. So think about it this way. Like it, let's just for round numbers, say $12,000 yeah. a year, you can, you could pay your kid a thousand dollars a month, deduct that and then pay for a thousand dollar a month premium for their whole life policy. You're paying for it with tax deductible dollars, right? It's going to grow tax deferred and you can get tax free access and you're going to have a tax free death benefit. Like and I basis, there's and, basis. Yeah. Meaning I, the contribution that goes in totally is considered yeah. after tax dollars. Right. Like I can't, there, I, I can't think of another instance where you can get a completely tax free environment. Right. 
It's pretty awesome. And you can do it for your kids. Like, uh, but, but you got to make sure you structure it properly. Your, your family structure on how you pay them, you know, yep. and, and make sure like you really the pay them for things they're doing. That's why it took That's me a long time to start paying my kids is when they were little as like, what could I actually have them right. do? And what would that actually be worth? Right. Right. So I actually created this guide and I, I think there's like 14 ideas on how to pay your kids nice. in the guide. It's at garrettgunderson.com forward slash rich life. Go to the legacy guide mm -hmm. and go to the initiate portion of that. And mm -hmm. you'll see the ideas. And I share the examples and how to pay kids and, you know, in, insurance is part of the strategy there. So that's a great possibility mm -hmm. of something to do. And I don't have college funds. Hey, my 18 year old's not going to go to college. It's not for him. Right. He's got a ridiculously high IQ, but he nice. doesn't really have interest in, he takes in that system. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. And uh, he, he does, he's a lot more like her than he is me. <laughs> but, and he's getting educated by yeah. traveling around with me and yeah. editing videos. So I like where he's at and what he's learning. But I'm glad I didn't do like a 529 because that's like an expensive version totally. of a retirement plan for me for school, right? Yep. It's higher fees a lot of times, volatility. Yep. I don't I don't like them. Yep. You know, the Coverdale plan, then I didn't, I don't like putting in all these other assets that are so market dependent mm -hmm. and, and so and I behavior like, dependent. Yeah. Right. You have to go yeah. to this I mean, thing to get the benefit. Yeah. And maybe you don't want to go to that thing. Right. Life changes. Like yeah. my, my daughter's 12. She wants to be a lawyer right now. And I pretty much guarantee that's not going to happen knowing like who she is deep down. <laughs> right. right. Like remember, whatever. yeah, it used to be like a totally different world 30 years ago to be a doctor or a lawyer. Totally. Like there was a level of prestige that doesn't really exist mm -hmm. with that anymore. Mm -hmm. Totally. So I look at this and I, I think if, if you're a parent, think about your cash flow, break down what you can afford, uh, you know, from a cash flow perspective and, and make sure you're working with a holistic plan that's going to help you eliminate your debt, free up cash flow. Like this has got to be part of a bigger conversation. Right, because you have really high interest rate loans. Yeah. That might be an issue if you yeah. have... Uh, no liquidity if you're yeah. you know barely making ends meet yeah you know i'm talking yeah so those are good points to consider first yeah and so and once you do that and just getting insurance on yourself yeah get your well you're not you, so here's the deal typically speaking you have to at least apply for insurance for yourself first and or have insurance on yourself before you're even allowed to have insurance on your kid and typically it's about 50 percent function of how much you have to exactly what your kids so get. if you have a million dollars of death benefit you can only own about five hundred thousand dollars of death benefit on your children, right? So, you know, like just just know that it, sure. it it's important and like because you can't just say oh like my kids are younger and healthier and so the cash value is going to be better. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, you know? good question. Crazy yeah. that we answered it that efficiently. Yeah, I, we're good. I don't know what to say. So there you go. Hopefully that answers your question and you're comfortable and we're good to go. All right, build more wealth. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you're enjoying these videos, well, there's good news. More where that came from. So go ahead and click through and watch the next video now.